Hold on. Welcome to episode 94 of the Clarity Compressed Podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly, and today I'll be your host, and we're gonna talk about something that I like to call the transaction of growth. Clarity can only really exist in the light of truth. Branding just isn't a tactic. It's a lifestyle change. Today's moment of clarity is stop the gossip. Gossip will destroy an organization faster than anything else. It will literally rot it from the inside out and ruin any good piece of culture you have. So for my businesses, I've defined gossip this way to keep the lines straight. And that is you can't talk about a problem with someone with someone else who can't do anything to fix it. If you keep that in mind and keep communication clear, you can stop the gossip, you can cultivate a better culture, and nobody, and I mean nobody, likes being gossiped about. So if you are gossiping, stop it! I'm so excited for what he's gonna show me. Hurry up and show me Paul's pick. Today's Paul's pick is a LinkedIn Live. Yes. We got beta access to LinkedIn Live. Thank you, LinkedIn Decision Makers. And we're gonna do our first LinkedIn Live on December 5th at 2 p.m. where we're gonna do this overarching view of brand connection and give you a couple quick tools so you can benchmark your company and how good you are at connecting your brand. That's with your internal team, that's with retail customers and on and on. So we're gonna give you some really practical tools. It's gonna be a ton of fun. LinkedIn Live, when have you done a LinkedIn Live? It's never, so you should participate in this one on December 5th at 2 p.m. on LinkedIn. If you're not connected with me there, it's Paul J. Daly. My pick is doing new things like LinkedIn Live with people like you. So if you aren't watching the podcast, that means you're listening to it only, you can see that I'm kind of in the middle of this really big space that is pretty much a dump. Um, Why is Paul standing in a space that's a dump? Who would own a building like this? Who would even want to be in a building like this? The answer is me. Not only am I in this space, but I just closed on buying this dump of a building last Friday, so just a few days ago, because this is going to be the new headquarters, the new creative center of Congruent, my agency, and I have a couple other thoughts and ideas of what it could become as well. Kind of the center of the universe for brand is gravity, which is the new workshops we just released and launched to help people with an online course develop their brand in the same way we do as an agency. And it really has me thinking today. We just got done with a a team walkthrough. So I had an open house, brought the team over here for the first time, and it reminded me of what I call the transaction of growth. Growth never comes without something of expense on the other side. And think about the nature of a transaction, right? The financial transaction, you buy something, you give up money, or you give up labor, and you get something in return. So at the time, Congruent, which is now a full service agency, was just an in-house production team. And basically I commissioned a video and I scripted this video to kind of work out the thinking of the transaction of growth. And it started out like this. Growth is a transaction. Growth costs something. How many people say they want to grow, but they don't do the work or have the ability to count the cost of what it will take to get there? Now I know I'm getting some more of your attention because anything in your life, anything in your business, anything in a personal relationship that has experienced growth in a good way, well, there was a transaction and it actually costs something. It really is one of the most fundamental things in humanity. Like even when we're a a young child, a toddler, we learn to walk through falling, bumps and bruises, the transaction of growth. In business, it's the whole principle of investment. You have to invest before you can see a return on that investment. This building is is really an example of that. You know, speaking today, going back seven or eight years, to the image auto world and kind of looking at the position that uh, the my agency congruent is in right now very similar um, we're growing we grew a lot over the last year the team is growing we're very very compressed in the space we're in which is why i'm willing to make the investment and take the risk to get into an amazing space because i understand 
the growth we're experiencing and the growth that is right around the corner, well, it's gonna be a transaction and it's gonna cost something. People, the team, the people who give their time and energy to Congruent, I understand and I say it all the time. They have other opportunities. There are always opportunities for talented people, but they choose to invest their time, their talents, and their energy here in this time with me. So you think that's gonna cost something? Yes. And my team, they wanna grow and they wanna make better things. They wanna build better brands and they wanna bring people closer. And they're seeing rewards of doing that. But guess what? It's coming at personal sacrifice. It's coming at compressed schedules because we're a growing business. Profit margins are slim. So what does that mean? It means like we have to perform. We have to be efficient. We can't waste. I'm traveling all over the place. So sometimes the leader is actually gone, which means if I'm the source of all the inspiration in the company, guess what? Well, we're sunk because any great team doesn't rely on one person for inspiration and motivation. A great team has team members who find it within themselves to be the inspiration, to be the motivation, to show up every day saying, how can I get a return? How can I build this growth through my own investment and my own time and my own capabilities and energies? I'm talking to you and I know that the words that I'm saying are already ringing true because you're human and you have lives that already exhibit these tendencies. So what I really hope is that through this transaction of growth mindset, that you can get clarity on what's actually happening. And here's the story. It's not really a story, but it's an illustration. For a car to get from zero to 100 miles an hour takes less than 100 horsepower. I can't remember if it's in the 80s or 90s. To get from zero to 100 takes less than 100 horsepower. But to move that car from 100 to 200 miles an hour, well now we have to go, you would think, oh, maybe it takes 200 horsepower. Not even close. It takes over 400 horsepower, maybe over 500. Four to five times what it took to get to the first 100 miles an hour it takes to get from 100 to 200. Why is that? It's because the faster you go, the harder you push, the more wind resistance there is against the vehicle. And physics comes into play and they naturally create this transaction of growth. So wherever you are today, understand that it is going to take growth. It is going to take the transaction of growth to get there, which should be encouraging to you. Because if you're willing to embark on the journey, at least now you understand why it's tough and why it's hard. And when you expect it to be easy, well then it's twice as hard. When you don't expect it to be easy and your expectation is it's going to take some, uh, it's gonna take some heart and some soul and some grit and some risk and some fear and some vulnerability. When you understand it's gonna take that at the outset, guess what? Your mindset can be different while you're walking through it. Because those moments, the moments when you let your team down, the moments when you let your relationships down, the moments when you feel like you might not have it, those are the moments that you choose your mindset. Those moments where you choose to step forward. Well, that is actually when you grow as a leader. So I hope you take this transaction of growth mindset into your week. I hope you share this with somebody in your life that is actually going through it, maybe going through it with you. And I have an ask. So if you have never rated a podcast or made a comment, I hope that you'll go, whether it's iTunes or Anchor or Spotify, wherever you can rate this podcast. So if it's brought you some value, if you could take you know, five, 10 seconds and just give it, a, give it a rating, however you feel like that should go, that would really appreciate that. So that's episode 94 this week. I really hope you have an amazing week. I hope wherever you are in the, in the journey of growth that you have, that you will remember that growth is a transaction. Growth costs something. And I hope that that reality brings you a little bit more clarity today. Yeah.